What's up, Tarnished Mark here, and we are working on the Knight's Cavalry, and this is a really cool boss fight. It takes place only at night. Let me go ahead and pull up the map so we can make sure we are all on the same page. He's roaming this bridge right here, but we're actually going to draw him out a little bit because the, the fight can be difficult on the bridge, plus there's some ads that we don't want to have to deal with. So let's go ahead and go to a site of grace, and we're going to wait until nightfall. And then let's go over a couple things before we get started. Uh, this is this is a nighttime boss only. Uh, I am level 26 in this fight and I'm using a longsword plus three. I've removed the halberd so that I have a faster roll, which is a medium load. You can use spirits. I decided not to, but if you, if you would like to, go for it. Um, this fight is gonna take place on the ground, not on the horse. I find it easier. And I'm gonna show you a tactic that will actually help a lot. We're gonna keep very close to him. We're gonna keep movement to the right for the most part. We're gonna roll to the right, move to the right. I'll show you what I mean by that, but be patient. This fight is actually a really good pre uh, tree sentinel fight because they have a very similar move set, but he doesn't have a shield like the tree knight. It's not as vicious and he doesn't have as much health. Now we're going to clear out all these guys first. Um, these guys too, we're going to take them out. Be, be sure you don't aggro him early. I did that once and it was not fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and wipe out these guys. Once you take care of them, we're going to go ahead and draw the knight's cavalry over here. So once you, <laughs> I got hit right there. Um, by the way, if you click in L3, you will quickly jump off the horse. Most of you probably know that, but I thought I'd share because I only recently kind of found out about that. So let's immediately focus on him. Don't keep your back to him too much, uh, but we're gonna roll right through all his attacks. Keep trying to get on his left to our right. And we're just gonna get like one or two hits in, but our movement is gonna mostly be going right right so we can tack him on his left and it's only like one or two hits but that's okay it's going to be sort of a slow fight and again this is a really good prep for the tree sentinel fight now if you do end up on his left side just work your way over to the right by the way i get trashed in this fight i make I make a ton of mistakes, but I decided to use this video because I want to show you that even if you make a bunch of mistakes, you can still win. You can still beat this guy. Now, when he rears up like that, you want to roll to the right. You kind of have to watch the horse too. This horse has this hip check. That is pretty gnarly. By the way, there are two separate health bars, one for the horse, one for the knight. And um, once we get the horse's health all the way down, he is going to come off. And we have to make sure that we immediately pounce on him. Now, when it comes to healing, you kind of want to do it in one of the situations where you're going to hit because he's he's pretty aggressive. So when you roll right out of one of his attacks, um, that's probably a really good time to heal. Um, also, it's, you know, this environment, it's easy to get caught up on one of the walls and stuff, but you kind of just have to manage it and you kind of have to just wait it out move yourself, position yourself, try to stick in this road. That's what I found is probably easiest, but you're just kind of hanging here. Let him come to you, roll through his attacks. Not like that. <laughs> I told you I make, I make a bunch of mistakes, but I do beat him. It's really, really close, but I do, I do beat him. Now keep rolling to the right, moving to the right, anticipate those attacks, roll through those heavy swings, through the rear ups, keep rolling and try and give yourself an opportunity to just hit him once or twice. Roll through, like forward through those leaping attacks when he's coming towards you and just keep going. You can see the horse's health is actually starting to get pretty low. It looks like it's at about 15%. Oh, those hip checks. I, that's why we don't wanna be on his right. You don't wanna be to the left of him because of those hip checks and because that's where his weapon resides. So keep moving to the right, keep moving to the right anticipate his attacks when he comes in like this if you can roll forward and i i totally botched that one but you can roll through basically all his attacks and to the right to the right and if you don't have the opportunity to attack it's better to be safe and be patient unlike me i was actually being i think a little too aggressive here um that's that's one of the reasons why i'm taking so many hits plus i i i didn't quite know the rhythm of the roll through his his attacks. I mean, look how low my health is. I don't have any flasks left. But like much of these fights, 
it's it's easy to really want to get aggressive and make mistakes especially towards the end when the anxiety starts building up but i was trying really hard to stay patient and pick my attacks like that so he is now off the horse we killed the horse we've got to go in and attack him immediately and i almost die here but if you lay into him you can take him down don't forget to like and subscribe folks it does help me out quite a bit thanks for checking out my video